Welcome to the Oak Cliff Cocktail Breeze. I'm Ariana Kimia, and today I'm gonna walk you guys through eight quick tips to help you survive your first offshore race. Tip number one, uh, absolutely stick to your watch schedule. No other people on deck do not need your help. If they do, they will wake you up and call you. And even if you can't sleep, you want to lay down and pretend. Here at Oak Cliff, you sleep until someone wakes you up for your watch. And some people like to use earplugs or whatever, it's totally fine. I like to use sleep masks with creepy eyes on them because it also helps freak out the rest of my crew. But whatever works. So tip number two is to eat at every single opportunity you get. You want to eat at least two full meals a day, as well as snacking along the way. You will burn thousands of calories a single day just being alive offshore. Uh, and that's even forgetting about all the other activities that you'll be doing, like grinding a winch or jumping up a halyard, things like that. So that's why you want to make sure you keep up your food intake or else you will definitely crash. And action! Tip number three, and that is to make sure you always treat yourself. Make sure you have sunglasses when you need it. Make sure you're wearing sunscreen and you don't get sunburned. But also, and most importantly, make sure you recognize the signs of your body. Know when you are properly fatigued, when you're not getting enough rest, and also know when you're just not eating enough, enough of the right things more specifically. I know when I get low blood sugar, I get really lazy and really cranky. But also, most importantly, when it's at that point, you need to act instantly or else it becomes too late. The fourth tip is to take early and preventative measures against seasickness. There are about a million of methods out there to prevent you from getting seasick. For example, ginger drinks and ginger snacks works really well, as well as stewjohn. Stewjohn generally tends to work the best, or even the patches behind your ear. But the whole point is to make sure you do it before you even get seasick. Follow the directions and do it early. Take it before you actually need to, before you're actually on the boat. And if you do get to the point where you are feeling ill and you start puking, make sure you are eating and drinking afterwards. The fifth tip is to be sensible with your deck vest and your tether. Our rules at Oak Cliff are you have to be tethered in if you have a reef in the main, if it's night time out, or if you're on deck alone. You want to make sure that you're tethered in at least at one point at all times, even if you're moving around the boat, and you want to be tethered on before you even get on deck. The whole point of the tether is so that you don't actually fall overboard, and make sure you stay on the boat, because you know why? Going overboard is not fast. Rescuing you is not fast. But in all seriousness, a rescue and recovery can be really dangerous for both the person overboard and the rest of the crew. Do not put everyone in that position in order to try to save a second. The sixth tip is to actually pack light. You should be able to pack everything you bring except for your boots and follies inside a 20 or 30 liter bag. What you want to do is to look at the forecast and plan so that you're wearing all but one extra layer at the coldest point during the whole race. And also, make your life easy. Label your bags and your equipment properly. I have my own carabiners that stand out when they're hooked on a rack filled with equipment just to make my life a little bit easier when it's cold and wet and miserable outside. The seventh tip is to be light conscious. Only use a red light at night to help preserve night vision and even still try not to use it because it can be equally as blinding to the rest of your crew. But when you do have to use a white light for whatever reason like checking the sail trim, make sure you warn everyone on deck by yelling, for example, white light coming on, and give people a chance to look away. And the eighth tip is to always think as a part of a team. Always offer your help to the rest of your crewmates, and even for the small stuff too. For example, if you're gonna refill your water bottle, refill your crewmates' water bottles too. If you're gonna go down and grab a snack, bring a snack for other people too. Ask what they want, and also, please, please, please listen to your navigator. I hope these tips are going to help you in your first ever offshore racing experience and I hope that you've learned something from this episode. Tune in to future episodes of the Cocktail Breeze and make sure you check out our weekend workshop series as well. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you guys out on the water soon. Stay safe. <laughs>